At an interactive meet and greet session with Kenyans living and working in Japan, President Uhuru Kenyatta emphasized the need to incorporate foreign-based Kenyans in nation building by tapping into their expertise. We are now beginning to work in fields that are new uh, um, to Kenya. And we're beginning to find, you know, when we, when we talk about oil and gas exploration, when we start talking about building of uh, uh, um, oil pipelines and uh, refineries and things like that, ICT uh, 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 hubs, we need your expertise. Noting that the government has intensified investment in the health sector, President Kenyatta said maintenance and repair of equipment requires engineering skills that could be provided by the Kenyans in the diaspora. As a country, to stop looking at our diaspora only as a source of remittances, but also as a source of expertise and contact. The president pointed out that even as the government was negotiating with multinational corporations like Toyota to put up assembling plants in Kenya, opportunities existed for Kenyans abroad to set up small companies that would then serve large enterprises. Transport and Infrastructure Cabinet Secretary Michael Kamau revealed that Kenya has been granted landing rights to Haneda International Airport and Kenya Airways could soon operate direct flights to Japan. Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed added that the diaspora policy developed and launched in January this year prioritizes the promotion and the protection of the welfare of Kenyan citizens in the diaspora, therefore encouraging and facilitating their full participation in the investment opportunities in the country. Plans are currently underway to establish intermediary facilities to provide investment management services and develop investment products and incentives that are specifically targeted towards you, the Kenyans, in the diaspora. A committee mandated to ensure that Kenyans in the diaspora participate in the 2017 general elections in Kenya is in place.